product bundles are an awesome way to let you group items together and give your customer more flexibility when shopping on your WooCommerce store. For example, you could create a shop the look bundle with a dress, bag, and shoes where customers can grab everything together at a discounted price. Or you could make a customizable bundle that lets customers add extras like shoes or a bag as optional add-ons. This way, they have the freedom to pick just what they want or go all in and buy the whole set. It's all about making the shopping experience as smooth and convenient as possible. But here's the thing, WooCommerce doesn't offer built-in feature for setting up product bundles. So I'll be using a free plugin to create product bundles in WooCommerce. And no, this is not a sponsored video in any way. I found this plugin thanks to another WordPress creator, Daryl Wilson, who uploaded it for free. It's actually a premium plugin, so you can also get the latest premium version, but the free version does most of the work. The plugin also offers different layout options and even makes managing variations super simple. This is a very basic example I set up in a few minutes to demo how flexible product bundles can be. You can also make them customizable and add hundreds of bundles depending on your website. Once again, this isn't a sponsored video and I'm not earning any commission here. I just think this plugin is amazing and I'm excited to share it with you. So let's get started. First, some disclaimers. I'm doing this on a staging site to be safe. And second, whenever I'm doing some design work for clients, I make sure to install this free plugin Airlift because Okay, let me actually show you this. So that's my site speed before and that's after. It does a lot of optimizations automatically and keeps stuff fast. So you should definitely try this and I'll leave the link in the description below. Download the plugin by clicking the link in the video description. Once you've downloaded the zip file, go to your WordPress dashboard, navigate to plugins, click add new and upload the plugin and then install it. Once done, let's set up a product bundle. First, I'll show you all the options that you can use to customize the product bundles. And then I'll finally show you how I make different product bundle variations. Okay, so go to products and click add new product. First, I'll give the product bundle a name, something like dress bundle, should work. I'll also add a description to let customers know what's included in the bundle like this. Then scroll down to the product data section and change the product type to product bundle from the drop down menu. Next, upload an image of the entire bundle to give customers a clear visual of what they are purchasing. You can also add individual images for each product in the bundle, like the dress, bag and shoes right in this image gallery section. Now, assign product categories and tags to the bundle. This helps organize your products and makes it easier for your customers to find them. Let's set the pricing for the bundle. For example, you could set the regular price to $119.99 and a sale price to $109.99 to offer a $10 discount like this. In the inventory section, you can configure your stock settings based on your inventory. For example, if you have a stock of 100 and don't want your bundle to run out fast, you can track and limit the supply. Also, you can set it to sold individually or with matching configurations from here. Now, let's go to the shipping tab as it will help us set the dimensions and weight for our bundle. You can either leave it to this option which will take the details from the original products. This is perfect if you want to ship items individually or you can also select this second clubbed option which allows you to set the new dimensions for the entire group product. This means you'll be able to ship the entire bundle in a single shipment package, which saves you money in the long run. That's not all. If you click on linked products, then you can set up cross-selling and upselling to recommend related products when customers view the bundle. But these are marketing strategies. And if you want to learn more about upselling and cross-selling, then make sure to watch this video that I made earlier. Okay, next, let's add the individual items to the bundle. Under bundle products, you can set the layout of how the bundles will look like on the product page. You can also set the location of the bundle from here. Set the grouping and change the maximum and minimum bundle size. For now, I'll set this to one because I want to show you an error that you might run into later. And also tick this checkbox, which allows the viewer to edit the bundle on their checkout page. Once that's done, let's quickly add all our products. I'll add the shoes, bag, and the dress. As the dress I've added is a variable product, 
you can choose to display the different variations or set a filter for a specific variations from here. If you want to know how to create a variable product on WooCommerce, then check this video I made earlier. Okay, I'll uncheck this and show you the different visibility options that you can set. So just scroll back up and click on this advanced settings button. Here you can set the visibility of the individual items on the bundle. I've left all the three locations enabled and by clicking on this override button, you can change the title and description of the original product and customize it for the bundle. Once everything is set up, click publish and visit your product page to see the bundle. At this point, you'll see the product bundle displayed here and the dress also has the different variation options. It doesn't look perfect right now, but you can customize this to match your website. And here's the error I was talking about earlier. It shows that you have three items selected and you can't buy the product bundle. If the add to cart function isn't working correctly, go back to WooCommerce page and change this minimum bundle size to zero and maximum size to three. I've set it to three because I want to limit the total number of items that people can add here. If you don't want any limitations, then leave this tab blank and update the product. Now, if you go to the product page, you can add the bundle without issues and the error should be gone. Okay, I just have a few more things to show you. Now that's done. Let's look at different customization options. You can change the layout to tabular, which looks like this, or the grid layout that looks like this. And if you go to the bundle product settings, enable optional and priced individually options, set the discount percentage for bundle items and save the changes. Your customers will see individual prices for each item and the total discount when buying the bundle. All right, now that you know how to set up different bundles, I'll show you my top two bundle options that I generally use across all my sites. For example, this Shop the Look bundle has the dress, bag, and shoes paired together, and the viewer can only buy it all together as a complete bundle. They can't edit it, and offer is applied on the total pricing. This is also easier to keep track of and ship as just a single big package. The second bundle option is this, where the dress is a separate product and you can set different bundle items with it. So here you can either purchase the dress by its own or add the bag or shoes as add-ons. The items can also be priced individually and the buyer can adjust the quantity depending on their needs. They'll even have the option to remove specific items if they change their minds later on in the cart. Now let's test the cart, add the bundle to the cart and you'll see all items listed together. Finally, double check everything to ensure the bundle works perfectly on your site. Customers can now choose between full bundles or individual items, see the discounts they'll receive and easily complete their orders. And that's it. You've successfully created product bundles in WooCommerce. Comment below if you have any questions and I'll help you out. Click this video if you want to triple your site speed in just one minute. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.